Okay, in this example, we're going to continue looking at completing the square. This time, we're looking at a quadratic where the x squared term is not 1. So there's an extra step with these kind of questions. So we'll start with our 2x squared plus 7x plus 9. And first of all, I just want to deal with the first two terms, the 2x squared plus 7x. And I'm going to factorise the 2 outside of some brackets. I'm going to use more than one set of brackets in this question, so I'm going to do it with square brackets. Pulling out a 2 gives us x squared, and then half of the 7 is 7 over 2. So what I've written here in the red part is the same as the red part here. Finally, don't forget the plus 9. Notice at this point I haven't completed the square. All I've done is factorised. In the next step, I'm going to complete the square inside this square bracket. So I've got x squared plus 7 over 2x. In my bracket, I want x, and I want half of this x term here. Half of 7 over 2 can be written as 7 quarters. If I square 7 over 4, that gives me 49 over 16. So that's the part that we subtract. Notice this time, I'm not going to write this 9 as out of 16. And you'll see why on the next line. So next, I'm going to expand out these square brackets. So I've got 2 times this first bracket, 2 lots of x plus 7 over 4 squared. And I've got 2 times minus 49 over 16. Multiplying that over 2 gives us 49 over 8. At this point, it's useful to rewrite the 9. 9 can be written as 72 over 8. Finally, I'll just tidy up and simplify. The first term can stay as it is. And minus 49 over 8 plus 72 over 8 gives me positive 23 over 8. So the key fact to remember in these kind of questions is before you complete the square, make sure you factorize so that you've just got x squared. OK, here's a question for you to have a go at them. Pause the video and then come back and check your answer against mine. Welcome back. Here's my solution then. Well done if you got it right. If not, I'm going to go through my solution now. So this time we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. The first step is to pull the 3 outside of the brackets. So we'll have 3 with some square brackets. Inside we need x squared. Dividing the 2 by 3 gives us 2 third x. And then we leave the 5 on its own. Next we complete the square inside the square brackets. We're going to get x. Half of 2 thirds can simply be written as 1 third. So x plus 1 third, all squared. If you left this as 2 sixths, it'll still work. You'll just have more cancelling to do. 1 third squared is a ninth. We don't want that, so minus 1 ninth. Next, we expand the square brackets. 3 times minus 1 ninth gives me minus 1 third. And then I'll write the minus 5 in thirds. That gives me minus 15 thirds. Finally, I'll just simplify the last two terms. Minus a third minus 15 thirds gives me minus 16 thirds. 